hi everybody so today i'm going to show you how to make this bracelet here with one mil wire two millimeter micro fasted soda lights and some three millimeter hematite absolutely gorgeous um, and it's a really easy technique lots of fun to make so let's get started shift us away so first i'm going to talk you through the materials so we're going to have so really simple so we've got our one mil wire which is going to be the base so we're going to be using that as the um, the outside of the actual bracelet and then you point 0.25 which is really really fine weaving wire so it's much finer than your normal point, um, point 0.4 that you use for weaving uh, but I really like it because you can actually double feed it through even the micro facets so it's really really um, great to use for detail so now obviously next we have our two mil micro faceted soda lights and three millimeter hematites uh, for the strand so um, really really nice materials for that so um, next step is the, the tools so I'm going to set this aside and move on to the tools so this is what you're going to be using today um, you have your normal chain nose pliers which you use to to pull wire maybe or to just to bend the general shape then we have our wire cutters obviously i like to use um the tronics they're really good because they're fantastic cutters uh, then we have our stepped bail making pliers which are great because they obviously have got different sizes and um, for different for different um applications and then we have our normal um round nose pliers which are great tool for use general around so I always have these on hand all right so let's get started so I'm going to cut a piece of my one mil. I'm going to set my tools aside and I'm going to start by cutting a piece of my one mil. and this is for the actual length bracelet so I'm going to set this aside and I would recommend to get a bracelet of this length which is roughly about my wrist is about 16 centimeters and it fits me with the cables i would recommend to go about a 20 centimeter length on either side so meaning cut about a 40 centimeter piece of wire and then just cut it in half so for demo purposes i'm going to go much shorter because it's too long to be handling in my light box so i'm just going to go shorter so you must obviously go longer than that again obviously if you have a bigger rest you need to go a little bit longer so you just need to to measure it out Right, so I'm going to start with our piece of wire and I'm going to go right in the middle. So I'm going to find the halfway point and I'm going to use my stepped bail making pliers and I'm going to bend. I'm going to use the second largest. I'm going to bend around the center once, like so. And then I'm going to remove, come back in and do a second loop around the front so what this does gives us a nice strong loop the front and here I'm going to bring in my chain nose pliers so it's quite important maybe even if you have a flat nosed pair of pliers would be even better I went to I'm just going to squish this together and I'm just going to go right at the back because I want it as long as possible so I'm going to bend this at a 90 degree angle and do the same on the other side and bend it at a 90 degree angle. So you just need to make sure these ones are the same size. I can't really see it from where I am perched when I'm doing this filming that I can do this straight. So they obviously need to be the same size and parallel to each other. And then also, if you want a specific gap, you're going to have to check that the beads actually fit okay so otherwise you're just going to have to uh, change the pattern and do it and make it fit and um, if you haven't exactly got the width so i'd say this is about a centimeter and a half wide but you can just guess before you um before you actually start bending and uh, kind of try and get the shape right so next step we're going to be needing our weaving wire so i'm going to cut a section of my 0.25 and that really should be fairly long if you're not comfortable with um, weaving with too long a wire, you can always add in, so that's not a problem at all. Um, I actually prefer to add in later because it takes a lot longer to add in beads on 
long section of wire than it does to actually add in wire along the way. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to anchor. I'm going to take half of my weaving wire. I've gone with about 50 centimeters um, and I've found the middle. So I'm going to wrap it around five times around one side, two, three, four, five, anchor it. And then all I'm going to do is a figure of eight weave. So I'm coming around the bottom. I'm going to go around two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry, I'm going, I'm keeping on counting because you're adding in more. So it's five times around each side because that will make sure you've got enough space to create a nice straight section. So I'm going to go back up. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to come back up over the top to create this figure of eight weave. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So now you would just keep going until you would reach the top. Right, so we've got, <clears throat> we've got the section here. So I've already added the beads here because they're actually quite small and to try and feed them on you'd get bored watching me to do them. So I have prepped a piece for you to see. So the pattern that I've gone with is um, two, three, two, three, two millimeter seed beads. And actually this has gone a little bit too wide. So I would then adjust the sizing for this or add another seed bead in uh, whichever way you like. You could probably add one in the center here. Um, so this is how I would do it. Now, I'm just going to change it. If you do want to keep it this way, you can always shorten it a little bit to make it fit. Obviously, make sure you do it on both sides. So now this fits a little bit better. So I've already finished the weaving here and I've done 10 wraps at the top and actually find 11. And I'm going to set this aside, make sure I don't drop these and I'm going to come back. And because I've started halfway with my 0.25, um, it's much easier to just bring this in and start with you 10 wraps at the bottom as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so this wire is great, the 0.25, because it's so fine that you can actually cross the wires. So what I'm going to do now, this is channel setting technique, okay? It's a channel setting technique. So this is a little bit fiddly, but once you get a kind of routine technique going, it's all right. So I'm going to try and feed the bottom wire through all of the beads at the top. Which does work, can take a little bit of time. Tiny. As I said, once you get a routine going, this actually happens fairly quickly. So I got these through. Now, the problem here is you need to be careful that you don't actually create any kinks in the wire because the tiniest kink will prevent the wire from going through. So you're just going to have to be very careful. So keep feeding it through and then pull it tight. Now, the way I do it, um, I bring the bottom wire from underneath and then the top one over. And then I push these in and then what I do is I pull. So this really tightly fits the beads in between the sections and makes sure there's a very tight fit and then push these in a bit. So now I continue and I'm going to wrap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, simply flip it over because I find it easier to wrap in a clockwise motion. So flip it over, one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now always make sure after you count 11 that the wires uh, point upwards 
so that you don't add an extra loop each time you do the wrapping otherwise that would then change the way the bracelet looks you would have one side longer than the other if you kept doing that so this is what it looks um, I've made a section here that have got a few more so this is it so this is what it would look like now at the end of the bracelet you just need to make enough so that you um, have enough length for your bracelet for your wrist actually so if you can't if you don't if you can't go long enough um, you can always add in chain like I've done here at the end so that's quite easy to do so the next step is obviously come in and make sure you create a bend so use your chain those pliers and bend these and just try and find the exact middle and then bend this one up like so put your pliers and then all we're going to do is create a rat loop just one trim it off and then obviously create a rosary link here the way to do it is use your your bell making pliers first you chain those make a little bend like so bring in your bell making or you run those pliers very simple and create the wrapped loop obviously take your time and make it a bit neater and trim it off and now you would take one of the point fours or point two five, sorry, and then recreate the figure of eight weave to fill out the gap like here. Um, and the next step is actually just create your um, your clasp. So you obviously make the jump rings with your bell making pliers, or you could use jump rings that you have available. Um, and to make this little clasp, you would use a piece of one mil wire. Start with the end they'll making pliers or run those pliers both work create a little wrap loop like so move on to the next size up bend it over like so so it looks like a one of those little shepherd hook sticks and then what we're going to do is again move on to the next step up bend it and then bring in your chain loose pliers a little bit like creating your little um, shepherd hooks earrings so it's a bit similar to that and then all that's left to do is trim it off make your jump rings and attach um, and this is how you would make the bracelet so i hope you enjoyed this uh, looking forward as always to see your work and um, that's it for me thank you <laughs>